Hello, so today I conducted a test while at the gun range um, about a theory I had for 5.56 five, ammunition and the percentage of case fill. So in order for this theory to work, I had to fill all the cases to 101% case fill using a 75 grain um, Hornady boat tail hollow point and multiple different types of brass. Um, the way that I came up with that 101% was I averaged out um, the multiple types of brass. I averaged out um, the case fill, and then I used that number to come up with my 101%. Um, after I did that, keep in mind this is this was uh, this was in dangerous dangerous pressure zone. So I was at like 65,000 psi or greater. So do not try this test at home. I will not give you my recipe um, for your safety. But the results of that test were out of five five shot groups, I shot an, a 1.11 inch group, a 1.26 inch group, a 0.89 inch group, a 0.93 inch group, and a 0.71. That is five five shot groups using mixed brass with one powder charge, one type of primer, and one projectile, all at the same seating depth. Basically, everything was the same, but the brass wasn't separated. At 101% case fill, giving me an average of 0.98 inches at 100 yards, giving me a 0.94 MOA shot group average. Now, the really awesome part, I mean, besides me blowing all those primers out, because that was really cool, was um, the type of brass that I was worried about was Winchester, because when I measured Winchester brass, it had the lowest number of case volume. So it had the, the smallest case volume, uh, which meant that if I put the same amount of powder in it that I put in, say, IMI or um, Lake City, which had the highest numbers, uh, it would have a significantly larger um, amount of pressure. However... Um, during this test, the number, what gave me the highest pressure was a uh, Perfecta. Um, so that could just be, you know, one of those anomaly things, but I'll go ahead and get into the numbers. Um, I used eight pieces of brass that I, that I, uh, measured velocity off of. Um, two of those were Winchester because I wanted to be absolutely sure that if I did get pressure that the Winchester was the ones that I was watching and, uh. I'm just going to go through all of them. So Winchester 1 was 2844. Winchester 2 was 2846. So that's not bad right there. It's only 2 foot per second difference just between those two because I matched head stamps. GFL was 2852, which is only 6 feet per second faster than the Winchester brass. So anyway, then PSD brass was 2847. TAA brass was 2858. Uh, this was my low, was Wolf Brass, gave me 28.23. My highest was Perfecta, and it was 28.61, and then WMA gave me 28.60. So, using those numbers, uh, because I, I didn't uh, average these out on my um, on my magneto speed chronograph, I ended up doing it manually. My, expre my extreme spread, which is the distance from the uh, Perfecta and the Wolf, which was my highest and lowest, was 38. My average, which was taking all eight shots and then um, taking their, those velocities and then divide it by eight, I got 28.49. Uh, so my average velocity was 28.49, which is screaming, by the way, out of an 18-inch barrel for that 75-grain Hornady projectile. Um, so for God's sake, don't try this at home. And then um, my standard deviation was an 11.6. So this test has proven to me that separating your brass for 5.56 five, is not important. You can take my word for it or you can do the test yourself. I don't care.